This is a sucky spot. This is my shot. What's up, E3 Off-Road? What's up, E3 Off-Road? And welcome to the Big Bear Trail Takeover! Okay, so today is the second ever E3 off-road trail takeover, except this time we're in Big Bear, California. Well, actually, we're in Johnson Valley, California right now. Technically. We're, we're doing something that's really cool. We're actually going from Johnson Valley, California up to Big Bear Lake, California, all by trails. Yep. So we are starting on Rattlesnake Canyon, and you can just take Rattlesnake Canyon all the way up to 2N01 to 2N02. And but we want to make it a little more interesting than that. So you can take Matino Wash, which is like a red trail. It's a little bit, it's a bit harder trail and add that to it and then come back on to Rattlesnake Canyon. So that's the goal today is to get from Johnson Valley to Big Bear, California, all by way of trail. And my cousin, Rick back here. Hi, yes. Rick. Hi. He has never been off-road before. He has a he has a cabin up in Big Bear and we're like, hey, we're coming up, we should hang out. Do you want to go off-roading? He's like, sure. Oh, yeah. He's lived in California his whole life. He's, been, he's had his cabin up there for at least 10 years, and he has never been off-road, which means he's never been this way to Big Bear. Are you excited? Very excited, yes. And, and somehow we also picked up a kid at the beginning of the trail. Hi. What's your name? Shelly. This is Shelly. As you can see, she has great taste in clothing because look at her hoodie. Oh my goodness, she's also so sweet. So, not our child. However, for today, she's uh, she's gonna ride along in the stepchild and have some fun with us, right? Yeah. Yeah. My thoughts have never been clearer. What you doing to me now? They lie, they steal, they fool us. Deep down, I probably knew that. I think I will be holding on to. All right, you guys, so we've made it officially to the turn off that leads to Matino Wash. Now, Matino Wash is going to be the most difficult part of this entire day and not everyone has to do it. Not every, no one technically has to do it. There is a bypass around, you can stay in Rattlesnake Canyon and it actually meets up right at the tip. So what we're gonna have everyone do is everyone who wants to attempt it, we're gonna do our best to get everyone possible through this section of trail and anyone who wants to bypass can go around. This is another reason that we picked this trail is so that people have options and we can include as many different style and levels of rig builds as possible. Yeah. 
as you can also see, there is a much simpler bypass right around this way. So you don't have to take all the hardest lines. Uh, that was pretty amazing. That was extreme. Loved it. Uh, great spotting. Is that the hardest thing you've done in this so far? Uh, remember kids, no light bars. Skid place before light bars. <laughs> Super slow. Yep. Straighten out. Straighten out. Faster. Back faster. Back faster. Brittany films and spots. I feel like I have to do one or the other. <laughs> so you're gonna rock your ti driver tires right up through here on this rock, right, right across through here. Yep. Okay, driver. Yep. Straighten up just a little bit right there. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. These gladiators are getting a workout through here. This is this is probably a, a nine out of ten trail for a gladiator for sure. Oh, he just came through all this. How did it feel? It feels like a nine out of ten, Kevin. It does. It it feels like a nine out of ten. I told you it wasn't going to be easy, but I told you we could get but you hey, through. But hey, we have we have expert spotters, expert help. A bad day on the trail is a little better than a good day at work. Right? There you go. <laughs> no bad days today, though. No, no bad days on the trail. We're getting through. And another gladiator. So the goal was try to get the gladiators through first because we didn't want them towards the back where everybody's like tired or like ready to get through this because they're cold. And so we figured let's get the gladiators through and then everybody else can fend for themselves. No, I'm joking. <laughs> last time in Utah. That was awesome. Dude, and you're putting it all to use here, and yep. you're doing so good. Yep, and I got a little bit of advice from Jake before I got on it, so he schooled me before I got here. Perfect. Yep. What, do you, what advice did he give you? He told me to watch the guys in front of me, but he told me to stay high on that and turn into it, and then uh, once I got up in there, to turn up and carry myself over that rock, he said it was no problem. That was perfect. You can definitely tell that you have steering assist, 
yeah. compared to some of the rigs that don't. Makes yeah. a big difference, it right? It does make a huge difference. Yeah. yeah. Awesome job. Thank you. I am genuinely impressed by how many of the gladiators that are on the trail with us today have decided to come through and give Matina Wash a shot because it's a little trickier when you have that extra overhang of the truck bed. And again, remember, this is a completely optional section of the trail we're doing today. If you don't wanna go through it, you can hang out, watch the fun, watch other people attempt it, and then you can do a bypass and meet us down on the other side where you don't have to do such a difficult section of trail. But I'm, I'm rather impressed with how many people are willing to challenge themselves and their rigs today with this section. It's pretty awesome. two seconds to help other people and I turn back around and this is what I see. Kevin, you weren't supposed to do dumb things today. What was that, Britt? I said we weren't supposed to do dumb things today. driver. Let's go. There you go. Oh, sh**. Is that not heckin' sketchy? This is a sucky spot. This is my Kevin. This is a brand new tie rod. It's brand new stuff. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get beefier once. Can we, uh, maybe? So, brand new steering tie rod apparently was not up for the challenge. That is extremely unfortunate. No, 
I would just like to point out that this is the same spot <laughs> that Ara broke his axle the last time we were here. And Kevin Brian. looks very much like a Hummer we recently had to deal with <laughs> uh, on another trail. What'd you do, Kevin? I broke our brand new tie rod. How'd you break the brand new tie rod? Doing a trail I've done before and an obstacle I've done before. I don't know. Uh, my other tie rod has gone through three years of abuse with no problem. So this is trail one on the new tie rod, and and this is no harder than anything I've. I mean, I've done yeah, way this harder. This is definitely no, we've done way harder than yeah. this obstacle. Yeah, so, so far, every E3 event, we break a tie rod. You look like the Hummer. <laughs> I do. The last trail. <laughs> wow. I do. But it's crazy. I literally changed it out because I was like, you know, this other tie rod and end link, all that. It's been, it, it, it's been through a lot of abuse. I should probably put new stuff on it. You should have kept it because it's been through a lot of abuse and it was still going strong. Yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Point some out that you just broke a tie rod, and the Bronco has not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. I got to clarify just yeah. in case. Yeah, right. Hey, Kevin, do you mind moving? Because that's the line I was going to take. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Stay slow. Looking great. Here we go. Doing great, actually. Perfect. The Bronco. <laughs> Says the other Bronco owner. It's a Bronco. <laughs> He's good. Yeah, it's, it's your slider, right? Yeah. Okay. Keep coming towards me. It'll come back up off the slider. Especially on our channel. Here you go. <laughs> oh, a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to point out, I just noticed he took his fenders off because they come off in like Two seconds. 10 yeah. seconds, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what did you say, Jake? What'd you say? He said you're going to back up, get a cheek, <laughs> come back forward. Gator's got a game. I'd like to say, though, our Jeep is right there broken. I was going to say, it's a great <laughs> backdrop. I, I know, the broken Jeep. Okay, as the Bronco passes it. Different line, but still. Hard driver. See, why, why couldn't you use them then? Because that's the harder way. Because there's different prices, Kevin. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to go up that. I've been up it before and I've been up harder stuff.
Unbelievable. I, there's no you, no words. I know you were super worried. I still am. And, and but you. It was amazing. You're doing good. It was so awesome. You're doing good. My adrenaline's pumping a thousand percent. Your Jeep is doing amazing. Ruby. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Woo! Meg just getting after it. She's like, I have a gas pedal, not a brake pedal. Okay, I would like to just point out that we have a diesel JL behind us on 35s with a two and a half inch lift and no lockers that is also making it through this entire Matino wash with us. So it is absolutely possible if you're not Kevin. <laughs> So look, we can't give the Bronco too much. He's made it further than my Jeep today. <laughs> so I'm giving you as much as Not my fault. <laughs> so we can give him enough room, hopefully away from that rock so that he can back up on his own accord.
All right, sun's, sun's going down. Sun's, sun's gone, bun's gone. Oh wait, there's some buns. Thanks, Beck. <laughs> so they went and stole uh, Aro's tie rod and everything, but he also found a huge Johnny joint. They're maybe gonna just try to shove a Johnny joint on there and throw a bolt through it. This tire is way further. Oh, let me get a lock nut. This Ooh. tire is way further in than it's going to be. Like, cause it's yeah, turned yeah. way, way okay. further. Well, I don't have one. You just have to run it that way. Yeah, it ain't gonna turn. That's it was on the bar way. coming down. It was. Yeah, it was originally like that, but I don't know that that's, that we're gonna be able to do this. Is that what it did? It fit through the... Yeah, it might get us home. So you can see here that we're just throwing a Johnny joint and a bolt through it. It's just gotta keep the tie rod together. We'll be towed in really badly, but I mean, uh, it's all dirt the whole way, so that's not terrible. Oh well, well, let's see what happens. Okay, so we are down off the off the rock, so that's good. Um, but we are severely towed in, so what we're gonna have to do is we gotta loosen up the clamp for the PSC. We gotta pull this bolt back out and run this guy all the way over there, because if we uh, spin just the bar, it's still gonna come gonna come off of there we have to actually lengthen one side first and then do that so that's got to come back off since it's a left hand and right hand thread so another reason i don't like these clamps why i haven't been running it is because once you kind of oh, hit them on yes. a rock um they're all goofed up and now you can't get the allen in there to loosen it good thing it's already loose <laughs> good thing it came loose on its own so that's nice but yeah i'm going back to my old way with the welded on dual double shear and high steer because uh, this didn't work out. So not too bad, it's 544 and we're off the trail. Um, we're back in the wash. So we're just, it's super towed in. We're just gotta drive it. It might ruin the knuckles, I don't know. I don't think so. It's a little bit loose on the one side, but um, it, yeah, it's just things that happen. I kind of like the idea now of carrying a long time like that and some spare bolts or spare end links i'm just gonna go back to my other setup that's tried and true and proven so uh, i'm just gonna give dynatrack a call and uh go back to the old setup we almost made it the west of the way out brian almost. with no incidences i think i got a thorn in my tire i think you got the thorn in your tire i think it is safe to say that you all had fun yeah i'm the only one who broke <laughs> Guys, honestly, on that note, I have to say, I am so insanely proud of every single person here because not only did all of you challenge yourselves, like way more of you chose to go on Matina Wash than I was expecting, but every single one of you guys made it through with zero issues. And for that, you guys absolutely deserve a pat on the back for yourselves. Woo! Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all of your Lightbright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. And of course, if you want to join us on one of our E3 off-road trail takeovers, head over to e3offroad.com and sign up. You don't even have to be a member to come join us on the trails. Guys, we love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye! All right, so we're back home and just giving you a quick update. We got the Jeep off the trailer. They did send me another uh, tie rod end here and it appears this may still work out this way, but we don't know what happened. They said this is the first time that they've ever snapped one of these, um, especially the new ones. I guess old, the old ones they did have a couple breaks. So they went to a new design. They said it is forged. It is a forged steel end. So they are having me send back the broken piece. They're gonna send it to a metallurgist and, and test it and make sure that what they're paying for is what they're getting and they're not just being told something. Neither one of us are really comfortable to just keep running it this way because of what happened. The only solution we saw, well, this isn't set up right how we had it. We actually had it rotated further back. The only thing that we saw was that maybe this end of the ram, that this end of the ram back here needed to come out to be more parallel with the bar because you can see that angle right there, how it's pushing and if you look, and this was rotated out a little bit farther, but it still, yeah. still needed to come out some way. Right. When you do hydro assist, because these rams push so much uh, pressure on everything, you want it to do, to be completely parallel on both planes. You want it to be par close. parallel. So this would need to lean back, so it's parallel that way. So, yeah, you want it. 
you want it both vertically and horizontally parallel so it's running directly with the tie rod and even if we lean this back some you can see how the back of where that's mounted is no way to be parallel even if we come back here there's just yeah it's a greater distance so technically what's happening is it's pushing out literally it's pushing out literally to like this point right here yeah, so we think that could be the issue. Maybe it was uh, a bad end. With that, we don't really know. So until they can test this and figure it out, we're gonna actually remove this and go back to the Dynatrack setup that I've had on here for like two and a half years because I've never had an issue with it. So the smartest thing to do is, is do that. Um, also, little tip trick here um, for rubbing and stuff on your hydraulic lines, you know, you could take some heater core line or any other rubber hose and put it around here. You can see right here how bad, but you definitely, this would have, you know, been cutting through the high pressure hose. So, <laughs> so definitely take a look at that anywhere. It could be rubbing or where you're securing it. You want to add an extra layer of protection. So whatever's happening here, we might need to tie this more up out of the way or, or put a thicker hose on there, but that's something we need to keep, keep in mind. So yeah. So sorry, I don't have any hundred percent proof updates right now. If you have this, it's been working great. Maybe it was just mine. I know they sell a ton of these and they said it was the first one that broke. I wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary or even really that, that difficult. So I don't know. I love the way it looks. I love how beefy it is, but something was definitely off. Maybe it was more than one thing, but we're going to go back to the, uh, the tried and true method. I don't know if it's going to work in the knuckles because we had to drill these knuckles out, but Dynatrack did send us some, some new knuckles that I'm not going to drill. So maybe that way I can kind of play with one and the other and have knuckles and ends and, and get to the bottom of this for you guys eventually. But for now, we're going to go back with what works and uh, get back on the trails.